<laughs> yep, we're just live and direct down to earth podcasts. We got yeah. private name, private number on the down to earth podcast with oh, my man. brother Another Rastafari oh. Samurai. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. You don't know this is the Rastafari right, Samurai. Never right, leaving right. dry in your eye. I'll prove this message nationwide. We just had a little bit of technical <laughs> difficulties. But now we are here and live and direct on IG2. But yeah, man, we have private name, private number here up in the D2E studio here. And I was about to ask you this question again. Yeah, man, before the COVID and all that, it's just been a craze of the masks, bro. You know, I have to say, man, you are part of the blame for this, for this, tr for this trend. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. It's, uh, yeah, man, you are part of this reason. I don't know. I I'm going to say it straight up because... Before COVID and all of that, you were wearing the, 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 the visor, the mask. And I was like, mind me asking, where, where did you get the idea that? Yeah, man, I've been, I've been private before the whole COVID thing, you know? Okay. The COVID thing just happened after. All right. But mm. the whole private thing is just me, you know? What? I, don't, I don't like to show too much. I don't like to do too much. <laughs> I'm just here for the music, to be honest, you know what I mean? And mm. private name, private number. Yeah. This is self-explanatory. What more you want me to say to that? <laughs> so how how long how how long uh, have you gone by that that name from the beginning? Yeah, from what 2019, been going by right. private name, private number, and that's what's popping right now. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. It's been popping all right. It's been popping with, with a lot of these masks. Them you you need to take up the 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 the, the how should I say the, the trend the pat the pattern that because a lot of these youths them know right Sean remember remember yeah. we had an interview with yeah. um Valentino right what yeah. did he see in that interview people pay to uh, to get in clubs with a mask just to get into some clubs with the mask you that's how that? that's how popular it is you hear that. That's crazy. I May mean, just have to let you know that. In <laughs> <laughs> the real shit, you had to know that. You had so, to know that. I would like to ask you, Private, how long you've been doing your music for, like seriously, like professionally? Yeah, everything started from what? I've been doing music always. You know, music mm. is a part of me. But the whole branding and the whole releasing and everything was 2019. Oh, mm. all right. So, what gave you the inspiration to want to do music? I grew up in music. All right? My dad's a pastor, so we in the church and we've been doing music. Okay, okay. Yeah, man. Is this my split? That's you. Oh, all right. I'm just want to make sure. <laughs> so, yeah, you, since you say that you grew up in the church, like, how, what's the feedback from, like, your own, like, you know, your people then since you've been doing your music? Yeah, what do you mean, man? Family always support, man. My family That's loves good. my music. My dad listens to my stuff. You know what I mean? But we always put God first. Doesn't matter what we do. Oh, mm. I like that one, man. I like that one right, a lot. Man. So what's some what's what's some of your inspirations in music? Like like um influences if I could call it like you, you were growing up listening to? Uh all kind of music to be honest. Like I got a bunch of sisters too, and I'm the youngest, so I had to listen to what they listen to. <laughs> got a little shirt of what I want to listen to and whatever's played around me. So that would be like hip hop, reggae, R and B. Mm. When that's on the radio, you're going to hear whatever's playing, if it's some rock, some classical, whatever. I like all music. That's the thing. So I can't even be in a genre. I make all kinds of music. Uh, since you saying that now, like um, doing the music and like promoting the music and performing, how do you uh, how do you feel the people like of the, you know, the local, you know, scene has took into you? I think they I think they're rocking with it so far. Some people caught on. A lot of people haven't caught on yet, but it's time. Time is everything. You just got to keep working, and then who hasn't heard will hear. Yeah, so man. Far, so far, people are rocking with it. Yeah, I see it because you have your own style. Like besides the mask and everything, I could. You, you're not. You don't sound like the rest. Uh, sorry to say, I'm gonna be straight up, no filter, down to earth. You have your own style completely. You know what yeah. I mean? You, you stand out. 
And like you say, you like different genres, so you could I hear it in the music. It's not like oh, it's the same, you know, thing repeated. So like, how do you take us through the process when you do your music? Like, what like what mood you gotta be in, or like you know? I gotta be in no mood. From the producer sends the beat, and the beat starts talking. So that's when the starting starts getting creative. Start writing, and whatever the beat's saying is what I start putting to it. Ah, uh, all right. That sounds good. That sounds good. Yo, Rock, you, you want to ask him anything? Well, yo, man, like I'm saying, yo, it's been a real journey. I would like to know, like, um, real, who has inspired you, like, in the journey of your music? Like, you know, in the beginning of your journey, like, of the music? Like an artist? I think I ask, I think, oh, artist, yeah, like an artist. Artists. Yeah, who have you grown up listening to? He said he listened to a lot of different type of music. I grew up listening to reggae. Oh, okay. I got into hip hop in like high school. Okay. But oh. I was and stuff, that was all reggae. My mom and stuff used to bring me to Jamaica. It was all reggae. Okay. 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 Yeah, all right. so, so what you what what did you like? Like which artists in the reggae genre did you take to our like, you know? It was the, it was the regulars, the Beanie, the Bunty, mm. the whatever, Sean Paul, whoever was mm -hmm. going on at those times. Wow, wow. So yo, the real the real things you be listening to in, in, in <laughs> just like we, you know what I yeah. mean? Grown up with nice uh authentic reggae music. Oh, and after then you got into the hip hop in uh, high school more and more in high school you got you got into yeah. the hip hop. You put me on to hip hop and so you, started that's when the love that. started. Yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So since but, you oh sorry, mm -hmm. go on. No, no, I, no. Go on, Sean. Since you're talking about the reggae, what, how you feel about like the that recent the recent release of Bob Marley's uh, biopic? You know, that's probably re-energized like I think some of the reggae music, not just the dancehall, because reggae been kind of qu quiet commercially for a while, and now this, you know, Bob Marley movie came out. Yeah, it's a it's it's a, always a good look for Jamaica. Jamaica ain't going nowhere. You know what I mean? That. It's never going to fall off. It, it sets a lot of trends. Uh, it's good that a man's name still being talked about how many years later. Yes. You know what I mean? But Indeed. I ain't got nothing too much to say about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we done a review. We done yeah. a review, too. So yeah. uh, did, he, did he like the movie? Did, you can be honest. Did he like... it, it was straight to the point. Yeah, cause I know there's a I know a lot more cause from watching other stuff. See, I like I, I like what you said there. That's what I was telling my brother why I didn't really I like the movie quality, but what? I was like, no, I, I I wanted to because you know about Bob, and the and the story or the whale is that you it's expected you, something yeah, else. But the thing is, you, what you don't realize you have to go by the name of it. Yeah, one love. It love, was really yeah. about the one love between yeah. them, their relationship and everything. Yeah, That's yeah, it. I, I, I oh, understand that. You know, I'm just I'm just going technical. Mm -hmm. Makes more sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the only reason why the movie is the way it is. Yes. You know, it would take a, it would take an outsider to do something different. For those who like listen to his music but never really knew too much insight, that movie would not be a good introduction. Oh, uh, see, okay. this is a good honest opinion. Yeah. That's true. That's honest. true. I yeah. love that man. I love that. Yeah. So that's why you private me and private number. Yeah, yeah. Put out the truth, eh? <laughs> oh, whoa. okay. I see. I see. Hmm. So, like your music now, like besides Toronto or Canada, where has you, like you know you've been getting some feedback? Where have you been hearing feedback from, like yeah. other countries? Yeah, your analytics. Where have you been seeing My analytics? Yeah, we're in Germany. We're in the UK. Yeah, I got a lot of plays in India, a lot of plays in Africa. I got some radio play in Africa going on. Shout out Flick Radio. Nice. That's nice. big. Um, That's big. That's good. Yeah, man. That's I got a lot of college radios playing my music. Oh, you see, yo, weren't we talking about something about that, Sean? About college yeah. radio? College radio important. It's good. Yeah, it is very important. You know what I mean? It is. And on the real, that's another that's another genre of um tours because you know, in the States they do it, they do college tours, right? Yeah, yeah. But I like what he said about Africa because that's the biggest 
Afro, like for example, Afro beats, they're saying basically is so big that it, that's what hurt hip hop's uh, sales. So it's like the Afro beat is becoming like the new commercial music over everything now. Like you well, see, Afro like the more friendly topics. Yes, you're right. Well, it's, so it's well, it's always going to be more marketable to more people, and it's uplifting, right? Sometimes. Well, majority. No, sometimes. Time, <laughs> well, majority. <laughs> like, come on, now it's like party music to me, more or less. Right. The beat's always gonna be. Isn't it party. uplifting? Ain't no, no, no sad business no, or anything like that. No, no, and it's never about violence. That exactly. You know what? You see what he just said there? Some people. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to the local straight up. We're getting down to earth. Some people got it wrong, right? In the scene that. They've got to do, they got the tools, but they're doing music. They want to get to a certain level. They're doing music what's not accepted by the system fully. Like, it'll play, but anybody who came from here, I'm going to say it again, never got uh, big off of op music. They never got signed off of op music. It had to be commercial friendly. So that same thing is like the Afro beats. It's commercial friendly. And same thing with the Junos. It has to be commercial friendly for you to get in there. So... This is what, like, what private name, private number is also saying too, right? He, he, he you, you understand that you can't. A certain type of music is gonna be accepted. You could come with anything else, but it's not gonna really hit yeah. the same. Yeah, man, Afrobeats is trending. You gotta shout out to Afrobeats, but mm -hmm. reggae is not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a controversial, I had a controversial topic on that, you know, because. Maybe some of our African brothers, you know, um, might have felt a way, but I said they were comparing like Afrobeat has it taken over reggae. I said Afrobeat to me come from reggae music, dancehall. It's just and it's a mixture with African music, like the 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 what was going on in Africa because they had Af what is his name Alpha Blondie, right? So I think he's from South Africa. I don't correct me if I'm wrong, but he was from this the what the eight seventies and eighties alpha blondie yeah and he was one of the originators of this afro beat and then there's others who came around but it wasn't the same it wasn't like what you hear now afro beats sound like the pop like what's the name pop r reggae music or if you want to call dance all like what's his name again um he's in all the movie i'm sorry to uh, forget his name y'all he's, he's in every soundtrack a uh, shaggy you see shaggy and and anybody like Shaggy with his mute, that's like Afrobeat with a different accent to me. Mm -hmm. Just with a different uh, if you listen to Shaggy or Big He got diamond all over the world because it was nice, clean music. It's the same ingredient like Afrobeat. Because he had uplifting, he has uplifting music. Every time you hear Shaggy. All all, all airwaves and media is gonna <laughs> Same criteria, you know what I mean? You push yeah. clean music, it's gonna go. Even when you have that gangster song, they're still gonna want the clean edit. So, yes. Ah. Speak, speaking of clean music, your your uh, your latest um single. Oh, let's yeah, let's talk about a little about that. You yeah, know what uh, I mean? Like you, you you have a video for that, right? No, there's not, no video. No video yet. yet? No, we're not gonna yet. Shoot video for the remix. We're gonna shoot that in Jamaica. Okay. So, nice. big, big. Nice, Couple that's big. On there. We got an artist from um, Jamaica on there, capable. We got an artist from the UK on there. Okay. Vibes Maxwell. Big. And we have a next artist from Toronto on there, True Ace. And it's being DJed and hosted by DJ Ritz. So, okay. So big. Nice. Be like I like how you're like so, doing it. Organize. organize. Wait, wait, hold up a second here. If, if it's going to be filmed in, in JA, you, you can't waste time just only doing mm -hmm. one video. No, the, you got to be doing more than one. Shoot <laughs> while we out there, yeah, well, content's content, but you, you, you come on now. No, you can at least give me that. There's, there's a lot of big plans for big things. Uh, uh, there's got to be more ready. than one video. Just stay ready. Uh, at least we'll have to hear that. <laughs> one maybe, more, more than one. You know, don't have to tell me what, but, you know, I mean, no, say I have to more than one. Too, right? Yeah, man, for sure, for sure. I always have to try to get them gems out of you. <laughs> you know that, man. Not try to squeeze you it. You hear the track, yeah. yeah. And you guys soon find out. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're Give done. No. Exclusive. Yo, 
Yo, private name, private number. How important is it for artists to leave where they're from? Mm, yeah. Uh, leave where you're from is always good, but you got to suit up here on the, like, the training ground. This is the ground where you get your uniform on, you, you know what? get your one-two armors, and then you go to you the world. You know what? I like war. how he said it like that because I haven't heard anyone say it like that. You know what I mean? Real shit, Sean. Have you ever heard anyone say it like that? No, we no, no, not question. too much. He asked that question many times. Mm. I'm surprised. And it, you know what? He's right. Yeah, because the music industry is very small. So even when you go out somewhere else and you want, you always want to vouch back home, whether whatever it's, some people want it from the streets. Well, well, some people want it from the, the industry. Some people want it from, it's all very small and knit. And, well, I'm going to put it like this. Just like how I, I say to the mans them when they talk about the women here and shit, right? And I relate it. If you could impress them here, right? You 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 set the bar. If they can love you here, you set the bar because we have a tough crowd here. Yeah. You know that. We'll boo your ass. Yeah. Even if you are